Welcome, everybody. Welcome back to Vacancy at Vanilla's. I am not Vanilla. However, I am Rachel. And I have something better for you guys this episode. I have a special guest. Let's welcome my special guest now. Ho, ho, ho! <clears throat> well... Oh, hell no. Nah. It's me. Are you excited sure. to see me? Of Santa course. Claus? Yes. You don't sound very excited. Well, I mean, the, the y- your dog woke up. The outfit's cheap as fuck. Okay. Well, we're going to talk about that after. Uh, Santa, okay. unfortunately, had some budget cuts this year. You know, COVID. It's been a, it's been a tough time for everyone. COVID, COVID is like not even ago? a thing. <laughs> <laughs> it's been a tough time for everyone. Um. Hello, everyone. My name is Santa Claus. Uh, it is Christmas Day right now as we are recording. And, uh, you know, I got all my presents out and I, I thought maybe I would stop by to do the pod really quick since Vanilla couldn't make it in here today. I didn't want, you know, didn't want to leave you guys without an episode this week. So, um, yeah, I'm here. And uh, in the spirit of Christmas, I do have a gift for Miss Rachel here. So may I? Sure. All right. <laughs> Merry Christmas. Here you go. Here, here she goes. Here, I'm gonna hold her. I'm gonna hold her mic for her while she while she opens this. What could it be? <laughs> Hopefully, you had a big budget for this. <laughs> <laughs> oh hell no! Oh, what does it say? It's an award, guys. It's an award for the audio <laughs> listeners. <laughs> I am literally so honored. For those of you, it says <laughs> the Rachel Rodri, biggest ass in California. 2023 (laughs) for those of you who don't know rachel has a ginormous ass and um is that hilarious this is amazing (laughs) i'm literally keeping this forever just yeah no okay so she has the biggest ass ever and um we always joke and we always say like she'll be like well the fuck since i have the biggest ass in california like and it's just like our inside joke so i got her an award (laughs) a little trophy that says biggest ass in california um put that over there so it's like um <laughs> so that was that's her gift that's the santa's gift and already it's been two minutes and this fucking beard i'm sorry i don't know if i could commit to this bit for much longer so then take it off i think i'm gonna have to um don't be sorry be careful don't be sorry what is it no what's is that really what it is don't that's be sorry ho be careful is that yeah. what it is yes all right so that's a threat um anyway hi welcome back to uh vacancy of vanilla's episode god nine I don't even know. <laughs> I think nine, eight or nine. Honestly, couldn't even tell you. I want to say nine, but uh, it's the Christmas episode. That's all that matters. It's the Christmas episode. Merry Christmas, everyone. This is Rachel. This is my best friend, Rachel. Uh, for those of you who do the know. Rachel Rodri. The Rachel Rodri on Instagram. Put some respect on my name. Shameless plug. Um, yeah, so this is Rachel. Uh, she's she's my bestie. And uh, that's about all you need to know. <laughs> the freaking frack. My mom <laughs> FaceTimed us today and she was like, you guys are like freaking frack. And I was like, girl, that is the most white people shit I ever heard in my life. So I don't I don't know what that necessarily means. But we are freaking frack. Um, my mic is on. My mic is on. Oh, it's your turn. It's my turn. OK. Um, she never likes to let anybody talk. I was going to say that we are two peas in a pod. Freaking frack. And I actually love the white lingo. So Dumb and dumber. Don't shame Big Worm for Big worm. her white Big lingo. Worm. My mom, my mom, uh, our nickname for each other is Worm. I don't think the podcast, I don't think I've ever talked about that. I call my mom Worm and she calls me Worm. Big Worm. Big Worm. But it, it is not in relation to Friday, like how they call him oh, Big Worm and Friday. It's not in relation to Friday. Uh, I'm not even going to get into Big Worm right now. Right. We're not even right. going to get into the origin right. of that. Right. But, um, what I thought it would be fun for us today to do a little game uh, for you guys to get to know Rachel a little bit more. Uh, this is her first time doing any podcast, so be nice. Be nice to her. Uh, even though no one's really mean anyway on my page. Thank like God. my followers. No, my followers are not mean. My followers are amazing little angels. But every now and then I'll post a video that goes like a little viral and it gets on like the wrong side of TikTok. And then I'll get comments and they're like bald, fat, ugly. They just like to say that um, <laughs> these BBLs killing y'all. Yeah, one time me and Rachel were on live and someone said these BBLs killing y'all about her and and I lost my shit. And she got really upset, which which <laughs> which then brings us to the fact that I 
if if you really want to become an internet celebrity oh, here we're going, we're going to have to we're going to have to get over that i know and i'm getting better you I'm are getting better i can't fight everybody you can't be you can't be believe it or not i can't take queen. all of you bitches down but Whoa. but but i'm getting better okay well getting <laughs> we're gonna get into our little game that we got okay so i have uh questions here that we we well we being me i wrote them down um and we but i put them in a bowl I keep saying we. You, I did this because I didn't right. want Rachel to know the questions because I just wanted it to be like kind of a surprise. Some of them are sexual. Some of them aren't. Um, and we're just going to we're just going to like go through this and then just fucking pick up little pieces of paper and, and answer the questions. Look, I'll pick it up. I'll, so this is what we're going to do. <laughs> guys, uh, <laughs> me explaining the thing. So it, it's really not that complicated. I'm like, guys, so what we're going to do is we're going to pick up the piece. Of, like, bitch, shut up. So I'm going to pick this up. I'm going to. Like read the question and you're gonna answer and then okay. I'll also answer with my rapid fire, before. rapid fire, rapid fire. Exactly. So let's let's jumble them up a little bit. All right, this is the first one. Ready? Have you ever sucked someone's toes? I have never sucked somebody's toes, and I will never suck somebody's toes. I will literally lick an asshole before I suck somebody's toes. So. What it really? You'll eat ass for a thousand toes. percent. Honestly, a thousand percent? no, that's real. Yeah, I'm with you on that. Do you understand how bad men's feet stink? Men's ass, though. But you're but if I'm gonna eat your ass, you gotta wash your ass before I eat it. Straight up, well, no same kissy. Thing with feet. I'm not gonna lick no one's dirty ass feet after work all day. But also, too, I mean, I can't even talk. I've ne- I, me personally, have never sucked a toe. You've Never done a time. lot of interesting things. I've done a lot of interesting I've eaten an, an ass. I've eaten a male ass. Yeah. And should we take it there? What? Take it there. What? No. Whisper it to me. <laughs> Wait, that's after. That's after. Okay. Wait, we'll get into that. <laughs> Stay tuned for Wait that. that um, up. So, I, yeah, I, I, I've eaten ass, but I've not sucked toes. And I, that... I, Honestly, yeah, men feet are fucking disgusting. I'm sorry, guy feet. Even if you have like pretty guy feet, like ew, I don't want your big ass fucking foot in my mouth. Like, and that's, that's some disgusting. big ass toes to be sucking too. Yeah. If you think about it, yeah, that like men toes are like this are big. big and fat. <laughs> <laughs> I, can't, I can't. No, no, thank just, you. No, literally, no. I'm thank not you. doing it. Not you cannot pay me. It. Yeah. No. Okay. No, no sucking toes. Okay. Next question. Next question. <laughs> Go. Now you pick one, and then I have to. Answer. Okay. And I read it. Yeah. Have you ever had sex with a woman? Let me know the question of this one for me. Because I'm, I'm Mrs. Get Bitches. She's just a big fat Guys, lesbian. Guys, if I'm being so honest right now, everyone thinks that I'm the biggest, fattest lesbian. I've only had sex with like three women in my whole life. That's a lot. Two of them at the same time. That. You don't know that. Horny gel immediately. <laughs> Horny gel immediately. Go. Okay, y'all. So um, I'm actually, you know what? Let's get into it. Wait, before before I get into it, have you ever had sex with a woman? And I know the answer to this. <clears throat> First of all, turn your goddamn phone on mute. Oh, my God. So unprofessional. <laughs> I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. Nobody blown up. Nobody canceled me. And it's crazy because <laughs> nobody ever even texts me. I have no hoes. But anyways, back to the subject that we were talking about. Yes, in my younger days, I used to be a little bisexual queen. Yeah, you've dabbled When I was like. Bit. 19 20 21 but you were like the kind of girl but, that you would like let your let someone eat your pussy but you would never eat pussy right no i have ate pussy what and i hated it <laughs> i did not know that i had to get it out of my system that's real that's real you got to try it to know and she like was it. a baddie but like i just i'm not a munch i'm just and not that's a real. munch and that's real and honestly. that's real and honestly real. if you give me a little bit too much of casamigos i'll probably do it again would you though I yeah. couldn't see you. I just couldn't see it. Like after a drunk night, fuck it. Yeah, I mean, yeah. If you get like really fucking drunk, I could see it maybe yes. happening. <laughs> but what I was going to get into is my uh, threesome extravaganza story. Um, I really hope my mom isn't listening to this episode. Dear sorry, God. Worm. Oh, my God. Worm, I'm so sorry. Worm, please. Worm, worm please. If you're listening, please exit out right now. Worm, please. You have to send her like a message not to watch this episode. No, she could. No. Because then she's going to want to watch it. Okay. Because she's that's how she is. So um, <laughs> I matched with this girl on Tinder. 
I ate, this is probably like two years ago. This, I was still living in LA. I matched with this girl on Tinder and um, <laughs> uh, for the sole purpose to make OnlyFans content. For those of you who don't know, yes, I, I used to be an OnlyFans baddie, okay? Yes, the link is no longer in my bio. I'm sorry. If, if you know the link, if you know the link, congratulations. You are part of the 1%. If you don't, Just sorry, naps. you're never going to know. Unless you guys beg for me to bring it back, then maybe. If y'all put money in my pockets, hey, who am I to say no? But um, I used to, you know, you know, used to dabble with the OnlyFans during COVID, and uh, I had matched with this girl on Tinder for the sole purpose of making OnlyFans content. And her bio was also somewhere along the lines of being like, "Who wants to do OnlyFans?" And I was like, "Oh, sure, perfect." And she was cute, whatever, cool. So we link up on some like, let's do a video type shit, and um, I go link up with her, and. She was like, we're going to go out. I was like, oh, okay, I guess. So we went out with uh, her, her like man, which I was like, okay. And then this other girl. Met Wait, I don't there. think I know this story. Really? Wait, is this with the P? Yeah. Oh, hell no. Yeah, it I know was like story. her man, but he was like also her pimp. So it was like a whole thing. And right? you went out with them knowing I, that? I didn't. I had no. No, I didn't fucking know. I was like, okay. okay. Like I, I figured it all out after the fact. Okay. So and then this other girl meets us there. Um, and she was just like a normal, like this girl wasn't like an OnlyFans girl. She was just like a normal ass girl, right? And she had like a, like a good job. Like I'm not even, I'm not going to expose her. Word, but she's like a normal good job. She doesn't do OnlyFans, whatever. And she was just there to like get some pussy. I think she was just like, Me. they had obviously, they had obviously <laughs> matched on Tinder. They had obviously not known each other. She was just other. there for the vibe. Yeah, yeah, yeah. She, she <laughs> has like, they didn't know each other before this clearly. Like it was very much like she had also just met her on Tinder as well. So we're all out. We were at EP and LP in West Hollywood. Oh, I or, love no, that place. It's like Beverly Hills, kind of right. Yeah, that's know. Beverly so we were Hills. At EP and LP it was my first time. Great there. drinks, sexy men there. Yeah, in case were, you never were, went, there were actually sexy men there. If you're looking for sexy men, EP and LP got some sexies over there. Mm. So we went. We're, we're chilling. We were there for like an hour. You know, they just got some drinks, and they were like, they were a little faded, not like fucked up, but they were like, you know, getting their little drink on, like kiki in. And they were like, we should all go back. Let's all go back to the to the hotel. And then I was like, honestly. I got to call it, you know, because I was like, OK, this girl is obviously just trying to, like, f- do do her thing. I'm not going to, like, let, you know, I'm what not time was this? It. It's like one o'clock in the morning. Oh, because she'd be going home at one yeah. o'clock sharp. And also, too, I'm like, it's, it's past my bedtime. Right, right, I gotta right. Go. I'm like, here, I'm like, girl, I'll link with you on another day on some business shit. But today, you know, have your fun. So the third girl now, the normal girl, the the not only the good, girl, the one with the good job, the one with the good job, she is begging me. She's like, no, stay, please stay. We're gonna have so much fun. Please, 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 begging me. I'm like, no, I gotta wake up early for work. Me when I fucking lie, because no, I don't. Um, and she was like, no, please stay, please stay. And I was like, oh, okay, I guess, um, maybe. And then she was like, I'll pay you. And I said, what? Pay? What? I said, what direction is this going in? And she was like, I'll pay you, please. Like, how much for you to just, like, take the night off or take the day off the next, like, day? I was like, um, uh, like, I, I don't know. Because I was lying. I didn't actually have to go to work in the morning because, bitch, I don't work a normal day job. So I was like, she got bread. Dude, this bitch sent me $1,000. Oh, she is big. She was like, just bread. give me your number. Give me your number. I was like, no, you don't have to send me. Like, I was begging her not to. This bitch was like, I, I don't give a fuck. Give me your number. I said, okay. You're better than me. I would have took that money. She sent me $1,000. So she sent me $1,000. And then I'm like, am I about to get hoed out right now by a girl? Yes, I am. <laughs> and so I look, I look at the other girl, the other OnlyFans girl, and I'm like, what's going on? She's like, go. And I'm like, what? And I'm like, is this all part of this girl's plan? So then we get back to, um, we get back to the, uh, the room and she was like, yeah, girl, like I bet knew she was going to send money. I was like, and this what is the, the hell is going on right now? The normal girl has the pimp or she doesn't? No, no. She's okay. Okay. Normal ass girl. No, the other girl is the, yeah. And I'm like, what the fuck? I'm like, what the, and they're all really cute. Like they were all like, and this girl was like my age, cute. Like the, you know what I mean? The girl that was paying. I was like, what the fuck is going on right now? She's a killer. She was, but I mean, I fucked her. I still did. And I got good content out of it, too. So it was like a, it was like Can a, I watch a, the a video? win win. No. Maybe later. Why? <laughs> you don't want to, you don't want. You want to see like a clip? No, I can't. I, it's a good video, honestly. I got, I got like, you know, I got a, uh, but she was like, you can't have my face in it. So we didn't put her face in it, but. 
It's good. It's a good video. But yeah, that was the time clutching that I had a threesome. I know, literally clutching your pearls. Clutching my pearls. It, it was it was a lot. And, but but then, you know, it, it literally lasted maybe thirty minutes, and then I was like, all right, well, I gotta go, and I went home. And You're I never, a freak. And I never talked to any of them again. You're a real ass freak. <laughs> that is actually fucking insane. Now that I think about it, that is pretty no. Crazy. You guys don't understand. Vanilla is like the freak, freak nasty. Of I'm freak really not. Landia. Oh my god. She is the mayor of freak corny city. <laughs> Like, you don't understand the stories that she tells me. I'm like, freak town is crazy. I'm like, I would never even think about getting into shit like that. Like, you are a literal porn star. And it's okay. That was honestly like out of all the things that I. And it's okay. I'm still going (laughs) to love you the same. Out of all the things that I've done, that was the most porn star thing that I've done for sure. Yeah. What? Me when I lie. There's other things? You know what I'm talking about. I don't know. You do. What? I'm continue scared. okay all right let's let's pull another let's pull another <laughs> card shall we because now i'm scared don't be scared be careful <laughs> shut up and don't be sorry look at my how the hat is covering my eyebrows <laughs> 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 this hat needs to go as well i think the hat's gonna come off too so you guys can see my, my little bald head hello my little bald head again <laughs> um okay have you done anal oh my god do i have a story oh god and i don't even think i I th- i've dabbled with it but i've never really like got into detail with it okay i'm excited because i don't think i know this then <sighs> okay so i've used that hole <laughs> when Use i that was hole is crazy <laughs> my mic is on okay i have used that hole when i was 17 mm-hmm. and it was with my first boyfriend ever he's amazing cheated on me had a baby whatever but besides that he Wait. was amazing oh okay i was gonna say how the fuck was he amazing but be- because that was at the end of the relationship okay he bought me a louis vuitton when i was 18 years old okay i'm yeah, sorry right. we'll take it all right he- he's he's still a king so <laughs> anyways he was like let's do anal let's do anal let's do anal and then like my gay he oh that was my king at the time. But let's speak on it, though. If, if it, Real quick. If a guy okay. wants to do anal too hard, if a guy begs you to do anal constantly and only wants to do anal, you want to fuck a dude. Really? Yes. Yes. Really? In my, in my experience, guess what? A guy that wanted me to do anal all the time was fucking dudes. Well, that, well, that I mean, that's the answer to why all my relationships fail. <laughs> that's the that's tea. Real. That's real. Like, you why just can't, solved like, the case. I see i'm that's it because my I'm first boyfriend therapist. did that my third boyfriend did that yeah. and i'm not with any of those fuckers now so. yeah okay so continue okay so i had oh i want to air out his name so bad because he's never gonna watch this he is like far gone in the boonies mm-hmm. whatever so he he was like we're gonna ditch or whatever one day we're gonna go to like a kickback you know and we're gonna do anal and i was like okay slay like i could not like i was like actually like a little excited to do like anal. leave the party and go do anal no 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 we were gonna okay so it was <laughs> it was a young summer day in verdugo okay. hills high school okay if you know I, I went to verdugo hills high school and i was no i'm not even gonna tell you guys what grade it was because I'm just not. I'm just not. So, anyways, so we were going to ditch, and we were gonna go to a kickback party during high school. He had a car because he was a senior, and he had a car, and he had money, and he picked me up and like some girls that I was with. I didn't even like those bitches, anyways, actually. So we go to this party, whatever, and like at the time, like I did not drink or whatever. So I was like drinking, and I was throwing them back because I knew I was about to do anal, and I was so scared. Nobody ever told me what goes down when you do anal, okay? Nobody ever fucking told me. Nobody gave me a warning or anything. I didn't know you had to douche. I didn't know you couldn't eat. Yeah. I didn't know there was truffle butter. I thought you just shoved it in there yeah, and call young. it a day. We had no fucking idea. So right. I, I had the same experience. Like right. That. So whatever. So we're at this kickback party. I'm drunk off my ass, right? Because I'm like preparing. My myself to do anal and i like remember it and then let's just say there was a bunch of truffle butter and i had to use a restroom i threw up threw up threw up because i was drunk and then i was i got diarrhea after yeah sometimes it makes your stomach like fuck and my stomach was hurt i had to leave the kickback party i was so pissed i couldn't even drink anymore i had to go home because you had chorro because i had chorro 
Oh hell nah. No, my I have a similar like sure I actually sorry. totally forgot about it until you brought that up right now. I have I had a similar experience. My first ex wanted to do anal all the time. And if you listen to my last episode, you guys know the story about my first ex. We're not gonna get into it again right now, but go listen <laughs> to the last episode and you'll you'll learn all about that. Um but he begged me to do anal all the time and I was like, okay, you know, I didn't fucking know. <laughs> shoved it in there no lube nothing he had a fat cock man he had a fat cock shoved that hoe in there not the no fat lube, wiener no lube no nothing just vibes and vibes. you know that shit obviously like fucking is not good so then i'm like kind of like shitting this is so tmi it's like mucus coming out of my butt right nice. and i was like oh fuck no i'm gonna die so i literally <laughs> Now you think you're gonna die because I you did ate so on my me. mom. I told my mom, like, mom, I need to go to the doctor. She's like, why? I told like, her you did anal. No, I lied. I don't know why. I was like, mom, I just need to go to the doctor. Like, I'm having like really bad stomach problems. Like, we need to go to the doctor. And my mom like wouldn't really. Not that she wouldn't take me to the doctor, but like she would. She was like usually be like, you're fine, you're fine. You know what I mean? But I don't know how I convinced her to take me to the fucking doctor. Right? You are the killer. And <laughs> I go and I tell the doctor that like, you did anal. No. My, you have my to mic keep is it. on. Thank you. <laughs> see? No. Listen, see, now you're doing what I do because I always do this to her. I'll interrupt her story and be like, and this is what happened. And she's like, no, just sh- if you shut up and listen to the fucking story, then you'll know what's going to happen. <laughs> so, oh, so, um, yeah, so I go. But, like, why wouldn't you be honest with the doctor? The doctor would be able to give you the proper help that you needed if you just told him that you stuck the dick up your ass. <laughs> well, I was embarrassed. So, at first, I was like, I was telling her, she was like, okay, the first thing she asked me, she's like, okay, have you had anal sex recently? I was like, no. And she was like, okay, moving on. And then, like, after she was, like, looking at me, like, I was like, okay, I did. I may, it may have slipped in there. Like, you know, I'm, like, trying to, I'm like, Sounds it may like or it. may not. I cannot <clears throat> confirm or deny. And she was like, you're fine. Just be care. Just don't do that. Again. You just like, have just choro and you have to go home. It wasn't even choro, though. It was, like, it was gross. Anyway, it's yeah. It's so disgusting. Anal is so disgusting. <laughs> Somebody needs like, to teach me how to do anal because I literally have, like, trauma from that. Like, I can't like, do fun, it. not but not everyone's, like, into it, though. You know what I mean? And it's, like, if you are, like, a person with, like, shitty booty, like, if you're just someone who, me. like, has, like, like the IBS baddies, like, who just have, like. What does IBS mean? IBS, it's irritable bowel syndrome. So, basically, I have it's, that. like. No, I don't think you do. Well, maybe a little bit. But, basically, it's, like. From what I know and the people that I know with IBS, basically anytime they eat fucking anything, they have to like shit right away. Me. That's like Dylan. Dylan, every time he eats something, he's a shit right away. That's not me, actually. I actually yeah, I'm take like, you're not like eight that. hours. I yeah, I'm like, I feel like them. you're normal. Like you have normal poops from what I know about you. Well, I always poop, poop in the morning. Yeah, I'm like, that's like a very normal thing. Like IBS is like anything will hurt their stomach and like. There are actually some people with IBS that they get this, like, card from their doctor. And you know how some places they're like, oh, I'm sorry, we don't have a public restroom. Like, some places. You get a permit you basically to get shit a, anywhere? Yeah, you basically get a that card and, they're, and, you, and you whip it out and you're like, I'll shit on the floor right now. That is so lit. I want that. I don't know how true that is, but that's just what I've heard. I need that, but with peeing because I literally pee like I'm a pregnant woman. Maybe if you got, like, a bladder problem, if you, like, you know, there's people with bladder problems and they, like, legit cannot hold their pee. Me. But But in that case, you could wear a diaper, I guess. I'm not wearing a diaper with this big ass BBL. Also, I <laughs> that's embarrassing. I just got Rachel to wear a period diaper t- last night, and she liked it. it. Right? How did you feel about it? What was the uh, overall consensus? Can I talk now? I'm asking you. Okay. <laughs> so I was a long time hater of the di- diapers. I'm not even gonna lie. I was like, that's so ugly. I'm not wearing that. That is not sexy. And she was like, once you put it on, you will never look back. Yeah. And I was like, okay, I'm going to give it a chance. Even pads, she was a hater. She would fall asleep in tampons. Like, that deserves jail time. Yeah, I know. I mean, there's people out there that do that. Comment if you sleep in tampons. I, <laughs> this is the thing with me. I hate the feeling of the pad on my WAP. I do not like it. So, mm. I despise pads i don't know what it is i would literally rather suffer with the tampon but when we came to our trip i was like you know what this is the day this is the day that i'm gonna wear the diaper Mm -hmm. so i put it on the most comfortable thing i've ever put on my pussy right and it's because it's like all one thing it's all one thing it's thank stretchy you. thank Literally. you i'm like a do- like i'm trying to con- convince every single no. person that listens to this podcast to believer. become a diaper believer i'm a diaper believer. Diaper, yeah thank you 
I'm I glad. literally have to give you your flowers for that one. Thank you. I'm glad that you saw the light and you were able to welcome the diapers. And I'm going to go home and I'm going to buy some. Yeah. No, seriously. And seriously. oh, for those. Yeah. For those of you who uh, don't know. Well, none of you would fucking know unless you like follow me on Instagram. We're in the desert right now. Joshua. We Tree. are in Joshua Tree, California, which is like two hours from where we live in L.A. And um, it's so nice out here. It's like literally middle of we're in the middle of fucking nowhere right now. Like we are literally in the middle of nowhere and it's so fucking nice. And we just decided to come out here for Christmas just because my family's on the East Coast. Rachel's family kind of sucks. Yeah. <laughs> and, and we were like, fuck it. Let's, let's come out here. Well, I was originally going to come out here, have a solo trip. And then Miss Vanilla Wafer over here. I had to invite myself. Invite herself. And I was but, like, but, but in a but way where I was like, like I said, I basically yeah. was like, hey, I know you want to go to Joshua Tree. I've also been wanting to go to Joshua Tree. And I get if you want to do a solo trip because last year around this time in January, I did a solo Joshua Tree trip just to like mm-hmm. fucking be, be by myself for like two days. And I had a friend. Ailey, Ailey, I'm sorry, I love you. <laughs> but what she asked me, she was like, do you mind if I come with you? And I was like, I literally am doing this like to be by myself. Mm-hmm. Like, it doesn't matter who it is. Like, I just need to be fucking by myself for two days in the desert doing nothing. Luckily for you, you're my world. So that's so sweet. Thank you. Next. Wait, hold my hand. We can help paint. OK, you. she's not affectionate. Oh, I am the least affectionate person ever. But. So she is, but then when it comes to like when like she was like we're gonna cuddle so hard on this trip because I have like really weird sleep anxiety and I can't fall asleep in a bed with another person like whether it's like my partner or anything like I just fucking can't. So Cap- but I did lay in the bed with her for like twenty minutes. We were like on TikTok and just talking, and then I was like, okay, I'm gonna go try to go to sleep, and I did. Hey, guys, I was really worried that I wasn't gonna fall asleep, but I did. It's because I cured her. Me and my friend, she cured her yeah. anxiety. She's right here. If you can't, she might. She's, she's not sometimes she be snoring loud as fuck she's not <coughs> snoring really right now um all right you pick one okay these are fun at the bottom i know right i told I you they're good these. oh my god what is it i'm just exposing my whole teeth what is it have you ever been arrested have you ever been arrested? Well, well, you're asking me, so I get to answer first. The okay. answer is no. I'm a good civilian. I haven't been arrested, but I have been close a few times, but gotten off pretty easy. <laughs> so, oh, yeah, Lord. no, I haven't been arrested. I almost did once for, like, bank fraud, but we're not going to talk about that because that was not my fault, guys. That was a thousand percent your fault. It was a thousand percent. But I'm literally not going to incriminate myself on this right. podcast right now. So that is a... What that already happened? Too, what? It already happened. Yeah, so and guess what? It. And guess what? I'm a free woman, and I didn't get nothing on my motherfucking record. But I don't think I was out here doing bank fraud, guys. I wasn't, okay? I got I got finessed. I got scammed. I did. Whatever helps you sleep at I night. did, because I was fucking stupid. And I literally, this was back <coughs> in the day before. You know how people will be like, yo, if you got Chase, hit me up. Like, type Me-y, shit. Like, I still this want to try that. I'm sorry. No, <laughs> no. The whole, it's literally, you will lose I your just money. I just want to know. I just want to know what's the tea. What's gonna ha- the tea is you're going to lose your fucking money, and they're going to take it and but run But what off. if there's like a stand-up scammer somewhere that actually does pay you? Rachel, you're not understanding. This is what happens. They say, yo, give me your bank account. And oh, hello. Oh, sorry. I'm just making sure it's just recording. <laughs> um, they say, yo, give me your bank account information. I'm going to wire you X amount of money. Let's say 5000 and we're going to split it. Right. This is, And then guess what? You do split it. You get the 2500 in your hands. It's in your hands in cash. And then guess what? Fucking four days later, the bank's like this. This uh, deposit is fraud. You need to put all the money back. And then guess what? That guy has his money. And he's not going to, he doesn't give a fuck. He's not going to answer you. He's going to be like, oh no, you're good. So basically that's it. And then, so that now you either have to pay back $5,000 to the bank or get your accounts closed and then be at risk for never being able to open a bank account again, which is done, pretty much what happened to me. I should have done that at Chase. But you're not a scammer. No, but they closed my account anyways. But you, I'm just, banned from you Chase. Can you guys believe so that? Bad. I but am you get fucking banned, banned from Chase. But that one, it's not like you just get banned from Chase. You get banned from opening any bank account with anyone for the rest of your life. <sighs> That's so dramatic. That's so dramatic. I mean, it's it's oh, very illegal. Okay. Anyway, but have you been arrested? <sighs> I'm, okay, so I was this like rebellious teenager. Okay. Yeah. Very rebellious. I was just a rebel without a cause. Like no cause. Just running wild and free like who cares you know and i have been arrested actually multiple times i've never gone to jail though 
Not yet. So how does that work? So they like put you in handcuffs and shit. <laughs> <I got one. laughs> so they put you in handcuffs and shit, and then okay, princess, so please, my mic is on. So your dog is barking. Lilo, shut the front door <laughs> now. So I have been arrested. My oh. first time. We're gonna talk about my first time that I got arrested. Multiple. Yeah. You have multiple offenses. I've been. Do you have mugshot? No, because I've never oh, been to jail. That's so iconic. I know. I'd wear it on a t-shirt. A thousand percent. Okay. And I would frame it, too. Yeah. <laughs> I hope I look good in my first mugshot. Anyways, so I was arrested when I was 16 in a bonds because I was shoplifting. Okay, that's not bad, though. What would you take? Be honest, what would you steal? A Starbucks coffee and, like, a bag of chips, and they arrested me. That's I'm not petty, kidding. though. But you, you, how old exactly. Were you? I was 16 years old. Yeah, and they can't even I was do hungry. Shit. When you're under um, 18, all they can do is call your parents. They didn't answer. <laughs> <laughs> Perfect. They were calling and calling and calling. They're like, that's ma'am. All they can do. They were like, why isn't your parents answering? I'm like, they never answered. But you got arrested by the police officers or the, the Vaughn's police? No. I first was detained by the undercover, and then they took me to the Vaughn's like little office, yeah. and then they called the cops, and then oh, the cops got it. me, they dragged me, and it. they arrested me, and then they took me to my high school, and they delivered me to the dean, and then the dean was the cheerleader coach. And did you get kicked off the team? No. Oh. So nothing happened, essentially. But it could have been a big problem. That actually reminds me, I've gotten caught two times in, in a CVS and a Rite Aid for that, for stealing. Well, that's because you're a thief. Both times I was with Sam. Isn't that funny? Actually, the first I time I was guy. on my way to Sam's house and he said, yo, can you pick up bug spray? And again, I'm under 18. I was like, fuck it, like no money. You so stole I said, it? Stole bug spray. Yeah, because we were like going to go to his, <laughs> he was having like a barbecue at his house and there's like hella bugs back there on the East Coast. And so he's like, yo, go get some bug spray. I said, sure. I just stole the bug spray. And I walked out and some guy was, uh, I'm literally outside of the store walking to my they car. Still get and the guy was like, ma'am, ma'am, ma'am. And I was like, who the fuck is ma'am? Ma literally, I'm like, I'm a child. The fuck? Underage. And then um, he was like, Minus. come with me. He's like, come with me. And I don't know why. I could have just been like, no. And probably just got in my car and drove away. And he wouldn't have had time to do anything. But I was like, okay, fine. So I um, go with him and he takes me in like the little office and, uh, he didn't really do anything. He was just like, you can't come back to the CVS ever again. <laughs> and guess what? I went back like a year later. Not you being banned from CVS. The fuck? And I went back. It was the one closest to my house, too. I'm like, oh, that's so unfortunate. So then they were like, you can never come back. I was like, okay. So or he was, he was like, you can't come back for five years or something stupid. I was like, all right, whatever. And then um, a few years after that, when like around college time, when Sam was in college, I went to go visit him up in Vermont. He went to University of Vermont, and Where I. The fuck is R Vermont? Vermont is like, <laughs> it's like a four-hour drive from Connecticut. Oh. It's like it's like this. It's uh, no, it's not, it's not like this. It's like Big Bear kind of, like Big Bear Lake. Okay. It's like all wilderness and like log lodges and stuff. But Sam went to a school in like this part of Vermont that was like a cute little like city. Anyway, so um, I went to go visit Sam and I was like, "Yo, you need to stop at a store. I need to go get some eyelashes because we were like gonna go out that night." So I was like, "Go go stop at the store. I need to go get some Yay. eyelashes." So I stole fucking eyelashes but in vermont they're so nice it's like a tiny little you know the guy was like um you can't have those and he just like made me give them back to him and then he was like come with me and he made me take a picture and i was like you're going to and then jail he was, like, he was like do you have your id i said no he obviously i have my id he was like do you have it i said no he said okay write your name down and we're like the fakest name ever and he's like all right you're banned from rite aid for life i said okay <laughs> but it's like what like bitch what if I, like i'm gonna go to a rite aid across the fucking country you think that they're gonna like tackle me to the fucking ground like obviously they're not gonna know but this That's was so like, funny. again, this was years ago, but never got arrested. So what was the second time you got arrested? The second time I got arrested, I was fighting in middle school because girls thought that they could fight me. And I got arrested by the school cop. That's like, is that like a real, are school cops real cops though? I think they are. They're real cops that just get assigned to the school. That's a yeah. shit fucking job, I dude. think they are. What a shitty fucking job. I'd be miserable having to deal with a bunch of shit nosed fucking kids. You know, I'm sorry, but my cop from high school was fine as fuck. I bet you they all fucked with him, too. Was he like cool? Because he, he was a black king and he was sexy. He was so sexy. Mm. I still think about him to this day. I'm not even going to lie. But was he cool, though? Like for the most part, he would never talk. Oh. He didn't have to he talk. Was, he, he was, was that sexy. He, he stood on business then. He was so sexy. He stood on business. Okay. I wonder if I shoot my shot, if he would like fold <laughs> now. 
Yeah. Well, he's probably, well, how, how old was he when you were in middle school? I don't know. Like in his 20s? I was a minor. Yeah, but he's probably a fucking old man now. I like them old. Yeah, that's true. He's probably I like still, I bet old. he aged like fucking, I bet he aged like fine wine too. I bet he looks mm-hmm. good as hell. Good yeah. as fuck. Yeah. All right. Well, Slay. is that, and that's it? That's all the times you got arrested? And then another time I got arrested was <laughs> when I crashed into three cars. What? You oh, wait, no, know I know this. this. I know this. I know this. Yeah, you know you're, this the, you're the killer for this. You're the killer for this. You know the story. I got arrested. That was it. <sighs> okay, next question. <laughs> <laughs> These are all true stories, by the way. Do you have any kinks? You can answer that. I you want me to go first? I have to think about mine. Okay. So this is what, since I wrote it down, I already kind of like know my answer since I like have thought about it a little bit. Uh-huh. Um, it's very weird and it's kind of like goes from person to person. I feel like what I decide that I'm into with that person, because like I do like, like with my most recent ex, I did like the fact that he like kind of took care of everything and I was able to just be like feminine and like, <laughs> you know, that was cute. Uh-huh. <laughs> but when it comes to like initial like for some reason when it's like initial like oh i want to fuck you and this i actually realized this at when we were at work the other day because this i did a vip with this kid and he was so he it wasn't like he was actually that cute but i told you this that he had like the cutest like doe yeah, eyes he had that. like these doe eyes and he was just like looking up at me and he was like you're a goddess and he was just <laughs> like so fucking funny and he was just like so scared and shy and he was like I'm sorry. You're just like the most beautiful person I've ever seen. And like something about that, like nervous, but not to the point where it's like too dorky. Like, I don't know, like a little nervous and like a, like a little bit also like bowing down to me. Like I, that really does it for me. Not like a God. Like, it's just like, Oh, like that. You're so nervous. I want to suck your dick now. You know what I mean? (laughs) But you, I don't think you're into that at all. No, actually I'm kind of asexual. I'm kind of like not into men right now. Like at all. Yeah. You really don't have any hope. Like I have not dated anybody for a whole year and I was celibate for six months. I wasn't giving this coochie up to nobody. Yeah. I was celibate for four months. Yeah. I don't have any kinks. I really don't. Not by choice. I just didn't have any fucking. (laughs) 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 Oh, I would have. I would have. If I found, if I was someone good. Men actually really gross me out. There's nothing exciting about them. I don't have any kinks because I don't have sex. So, <laughs> yeah, I got I got like weird weirdo shit that I'm into. It just it, there's a lot of shit that I'm into. Honestly, if my yeah, partner's into it, it, like I'm into it, like kind of a thing. I mean, not everything. That's a lie. But yeah, for the most part, because like with my most recent ex, it was definitely like he was the more dominant one and I was more submissive. But in my past experiences, I've but like, been what, more dominant. So like, what's a kink? Like when somebody like. Like what's another kink? Like a kink, like that, like none of these things I'm really saying are, are kinks, yeah, but like a like. kink is like um, like I'm trying to think of like like certain like types of like BDSM could be like considered kinks. Oh hell no! Nah. And like you're you you kind of are pretty vanilla when it comes to sex. I feel like you don't like to do any like weird crazy shit, which is fine. Cause I don't like anybody. No, but I'm just saying like even with like people that you, like I feel like you you're not doing like weird crazy shit in the bedroom no yeah just in general like there's just, cobwebs down there so <laughs> it's just like nobody comes in here but yeah no i can't even really think like there's nothing like off the top of my head that i'm like oh, that's my king like i don't really oh well i do like i'm like getting into like toys like i yeah. like toys yeah that's that's fun Period. yeah this bitch never had a fucking sex toy until the, this past year toy. i was like you need to buy a fucking vibrator before i buy you one and then, and she then got i one. bought it i was like no wonder like you're fucking miserable <laughs> and then i bought it and then it fucking died and then i lost the charger so now i can't masturbate so now you I haven't even used it since but you just it usually just takes like a usb i don't know where it's at i have to buy i want to buy the the rose the rose toy is fun, but the rose is like strong. The rose literally That's is what like I need. sucks your soul off. That's what the fuck I need. But like my pussy then I'll is be nice like, to everybody. <laughs> but you gotta understand, like my pussy is like I have taken like a lawnmower to my pussy for the past like ten years of my a life. A lawnmower is crazy <laughs> because I've just been, I've been literally using vibrators since I was sixteen, and Slay. and and it is, guys, I'm laying it all on the line here. It I, it is like impossible for me to come with men. Like I have never like come. Are we using going a, there? We're going there. We're going there. I have to use a toy, bro. I have to use a toy. Every now and then, every now and then, this happens like once every like, dude, it's like, it's like the leap year. It's like a leap year. I come with a man. I love this conversation for some reason. Dude, 
me with like leap year is what once every four Can years you believe that this poor woman does not orgasm every single time she has sex she is the killer of the you night. have to be, but you need to know that most women don't come every time they have sex this bitch can ride a fucking micro penis for two seconds and she's nutting on that damn thing like that's orgasm, crazy eyes rolling back like back. that's insane to me like but that you gotta understand that you're the lucky one like 70 percent of women i'm god's cannot, favorite yeah 70 percent of women can't come anyway um i literally come with every single person i i can ne- it's you, actually so embarrassing i've never come from being fucked ever in my life like just by itself like i could come with like a vibrator being fucked maybe maybe even then it's not a guarantee and from but head but dude, has, something about re- um researched like i said i come once it's like a leap year it's every four years <laughs> i will come from head or something and then and then and then i look at that person like they are a king because i'm like what the fuck did you do you cracked the code you fucking what is it um the da vinci code <laughs> you cracked the da vinci i didn't ever seen that fucking movie code. i don't even know like literally it's like Me. you just unlocked the 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 tombs i feel so bad for her i feel so bad for yeah. her but it's fine because i, I have could sex not toys. imagine having sex and not coming that's like so sad it is kind of sad because like so that like so literally sad. i becoming way harder with my fucking toys no than what? i ever do with a person I just come. I just yeah. breathe and come. Like it's, it's literally <laughs> do you do? It's like it's, it's, so it's amazing, not fair, bro. It's I love so it. not fair. You literally are God's favorite. What and the then fuck? I'm so I'm so selfish too. Like, should I should I say this? What? Like I literally like I'll just come really quick and then I'll be like, okay, get away from me. You but that's how men are though. Exactly. But, I, men, but, but like I am like a man. Exactly. That's what I'm saying. It's not selfish because that's how every fucking man is. I'm every like, man, okay, they I'm just want to get their nut get and they don't give a me. fuck. Exactly. That's it. You are you. Good. As now, you should be. Go as you should. Home. I don't care. That's that's. Bye. I actually like that opinion. Slay. I'm standing on that as well. And you know I do. Yeah. All right. Pick another one. Okay. <laughs> I oh, love shit. these. Well, we're not gonna be able to get through all these. We're not gonna have enough time. Would you have sex with the person you lost your virginity to again? No. Me, no, absolutely not. It's the guy that I talked about in the last episode. Never in a you could not pay me. His dick was good, but you couldn't pay me to do it again. Wow. Just because, like, the experience tied to it. Well. Would you? Um, I lost it to the first one, the first boyfriend I was talking to, the one that bought me the Louis Vuitton. Mm. Um, and, yeah, I still, like, dibble in that. You would? I still dibble in it sometimes. Since when? Like it ha- it's been a couple years because oh. he, he stopped talking to me. But like I would like for many years I was. You would still. He would be. Dick. Yeah, just cause. Just cause. Just cause I wanted to. Just sit on that thing real quick. Just to piss off his baby mama. <gasps> because you were the one that got away. Because I was the one that got away, and then she had a baby with him. So. Well, that good thing that's not you though. So now what? Because I, I probably would have never met you. We never would have met. Never, we never would have met. We would have been. She probably wouldn't have been. You would have never club. let me down. I mean, you could have been. Yeah, I don't know. No, I would have been put up. Is fucking? But is is his baby mama like? No, because she left his ass. But does he have they money? They didn't now? even last two months. Does he have money now? No, I think he's still waiting. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> what exactly? Oh my god, you would have to be in the strip club, please. Oh my god. Okay. Uh, working for a must. <laughs> What's one thing that I do that irritates you? And you can only pick one. Let me open up my book. Let me open up my book. You can book. only pick one. You can only pick one. You need a there's, minute? there's like a million of things. Well, one of the things. I'm going to say three. Okay. Go I'm for gonna it. I'm going to say three. Just one of the things is she just me. walks around like she's a literal college frat boy and just is burping and <laughs> farting, burping and farting, farting and burping, burping and farting. And that is literally my pet peeve with any. If I hear you burp, I'm like, do you have any decor? You hate burp more than farting? Yeah. I, bur- I burp way more than I the fart. The burp is just disgusting to me because it's like, who do you think you are? I'm sorry. Why are you burping? You Ma- literally. You know who was like that? Marco. Marco could not, but he would like genuinely get pit. Like, dude, what with did a you burp. Just say? Marco. I don't give a fuck. Oh. What? I didn't say anything about him. I just said he hates burping. I hate. We can name names. Burping with a passion. If you burp, if you're a guy and I hear you burp, I will never go on a date with you ever again. I cannot do it. Like really? I, it disgusts me. Yeah, it because is you gross, have to understand. But... There's like a smell with it, and then this girl. Like if you're on a first date with a guy and he's fucking burping, no, like fuck I, no, no, I don't care. I don't flag. care if I he, if I get a whiff of your burp, I'm disgusted. 
I just cannot do it. That's where I draw the line. No. And then and then on top of it, it doesn't stop there. She doesn't just burp. She then she'll let she'll rip ass. Then she'll just rip it. And and it's and it has a smell. Your farts be stinking. <laughs> Thank but you. but out of the two what the two years we've been friends, you probably only heard me fart what four times, and three of them been a lie. on this trip. It was all a lie. She be farting all the time. I'd be farting at the club. We be sometimes. at the club. <laughs> she be farting, and I'm like, I'd did you far- just? Fart? But you be farting too. On stage, you'll be like, I just farted on stage. On stage, no one is near me. But that thing is that thing be wafting or wafting? <laughs> that wafting. <laughs> that fart be wafting. How do you know? You've never smelled my fart. You've never smelled a fart. And I bet that shit smell like hot Cheetos. <laughs> <laughs> it's not funny. That's not funny. Nothing's <laughs> funny. And another thing, but this is just because you're my world. Okay. I hate when I, we're at work and she leaves early. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> that's okay. My, that's my pet peeve. I'm like, be up my ass all the time. Why are you leaving work and I'm not leaving work? What do you have to go do at home? Like, I, I have to like tell leaves. her everything that I do. Like, no, that's sometimes. not true. At that's- work, at least. Like, if I like, if I like go, like, like if we work a double shift, I'm not, like, I'm not allowed to take a break without her. Or, or, like, no, 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 no. <laughs> or I have to tell you. Sound, at like least. I'm crazy about you no that's not the truth i just like to be in my friend's business i just love i want to know what time they wake up i want to know what they eat i want to know where they go i want to know everything about them like they're my girly pops like i yeah, have to no, know that's everything real. that's, that's real i do like i'll, like, I'll be and checking your so location even because so, she'll be calling me she'll be like why are you not replying why are you not texting sometimes <laughs> i don't reply for five she's like are you with your ex yeah are you with your ex what it is you're with your ex the where only are thing you? is that i'm worried is that she's with oh, her ex fuck off. I'm sorry, because her ex is the fucking killer, he's the and killer. I'm worried that she'd be hanging out with. But she really hasn't. But he's you've been sexy. standing. You've been sta- sexy. Is a he's sexy. huge. He has is my name hu- tatted. He does have her name tatted. That's a flex, dude. I, I love need that someone man. to tap my fucking name. I love that. But man. I don't want them to tat Emily. But That's I like refuse. Gay. We we cannot. We will. We cannot. We're not going to talk about him. Right. No, we're not even going to give that right. the energy. Anyway, uh, did you and pick one? No, no, no. Oh wait, I get to. I have to say what I uh, what bothers me about you. I feel um, like I know. Um, I mean, it's nothing like, like super like, like I can't like think of something like right off the top of my head. But like I'm one perfect? thing, yes, because you're perfect. But one thing that like I <laughs> that if she is in like a little bit of a bad mood, it's everyone's problem. <gasps> it's everyone's fucking problem. Everyone is her worst fucking enemy. And then the next day she wakes up and she's like, "Oh, I overdid it." Like, and then she'll be like, "Oh, actually, I was the biggest bitch ever." But she's like, she'll she'll realize that she was being a bitch, and she'll be like. I'm sorry, everyone. <laughs> um, and but, I hate when she gets drunk. Did you, is that what you thought I was going to say? No, I knew you were going to talk about my bad attitude sometimes. And, but, and when you're just like, but you've only been really like the only you've only pissed me off drunk once. <laughs> and it was because you were like way too fucking Which inebriated. Time? We're not going to want to talk Christmas about it. Party? It's gonna be obviously, the oh. Christmas party. <laughs> Holy fucking POV. shit. It depends on who you ask, because if you ask my beautiful friend, Melissa, a.k.a. Ace, if you're watching this, shout out to ace we love her she's a little firecracker we love her but ace is also insane. a fun girl we love her but she's cuckoo bananas but it's pov it depends on who you're asking i think she's fun you <laughs> love her she's to cuckoo death bananas. no she's fun as fuck but she's and she even will say i'm crazy she's like i know i'm fucking crazy she's crazy love, love her to her. death she's crazy she reminds me of and she's like oh song. girl you weren't bad at all exactly <laughs> so it depends on who you ask pov all right well yeah but that's really it other, other than that there's really not anything else that like off the top of my head um i'm like oh my god i cannot stand that about her right that's really it you're my world and, I- <laughs> <laughs> and i'm working on the attitude okay like yeah. chill i'm working on it yeah and you know what oh you want to know what actually pisses me off sometimes is that you'll lie on my name about stupid ass shit like what like <laughs> like what <laughs> like you'll be like like okay like we um when we were at the sexy red concert this couple was next to us and was like, how long have you been with your girlfriend for? They just assumed we were together. And Rachel goes, seven years. Okay. Girl, what the hell? And now I have to go with this fucking lie. And it's awkward. And it's, but it's hilarious. But, and then you'll be like, you'll tell people at work. You'll be like, um, I'm trying to think of something. Like, you'll just say some stupid shit about me. No. Like you told Manny, you told Manny that I had diabetes and high cholesterol or something <laughs> like that. <laughs> like she'll just say stupid shit. She'll just make shit up and be like, Avery, that's not her name. She'll be like, Avery did this. And it's just something that I'm like, oh my God, no, I did not. But it's like funny. Like that's, it is funny though. I have this thing. Okay. One, everybody at work thinks that me and Vanilla, I don't call her Avery because I think that name is hideous. Well, Avery's my, but, oh. 
I've told you this. <laughs> Avery's times. my stripper name. Yeah, but, but Vanilla is like vanilla. my name name. Yeah, but I call her Vanilla. I don't know who the fuck Avery is. Okay, Avery is just me. Everybody and her. at the club for some reason thinks that me and her are in a re- in a relationship. They have asked me this question so many times to the point where I have began to accept. <laughs> And they never ask. Reality. They never ask me. They always ask you for something. They reason. always ask me. Girls, fucking everybody. They're like, "Are you guys together? How long have you guys been together? You guys you are such about? a cute couple." But like, we so don't even I have give to drag couple it. vibes. We don't even hug. We're not like physically like we're we we hang out all the time and we joke and we laugh. But it's like we're not like it's so strange to me because I'm like there's so many other but I think pairs it's because, of best friends at the club and never once did I ever think that they're. But dating. I think it's because I don't talk to anybody else. Like literally, I am literally I don't talk to anybody else if you're not there. But yeah, well, okay, because I used to work at this club back many many centuries ago, and I never used to talk to anybody. Like I was like a little like hermit crab like i refuse to talk to anybody not because i was shy but just because like i literally don't i'm not social that's how i was when i first went to i'm not social too. at all even when annette told you that she was like yeah she never used to talk to anybody and then she I bottle, she sorry, went there guys. and then i was there and then when i got back this bitch was friends with the whole club so i was like i gotta be friends with the whole club because it's like she's talking to everybody and everyone's like who is that new girl and it's like i'm not new i'm you're the like, motherfucking veteran like, like i'm what? not new to this i'm true to this but exactly also, but also it, when i first, so i feel like my mic is on. okay sorry <laughs> go it's on do you hear it for the first yeah time? she's snoring so i feel because vanilla is such a social butterfly and she will talk to anybody that people i had to become as friendly so that people don't and i just like, like to bitch. lie for no reason because it's fun yeah it is fun it is fun i like it bored as hell bored as hell bored as hell bored as fuck you're seeing that there's like a it, that's so we, we refer to that meme it's a <laughs> meme it's like a facebook screenshot conversation of like a guy and a girl and he's like i <laughs> forget what he says in. yeah I'm, I'm, i'll find it and i'll put it i forget what he says he's like why did you tell <laughs> <laughs> Do you know what he said? It's like, why did you tell people that I'm your baby, baby daddy? Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's something like that. It's like, why did you tell people that you're my baby mother? And, he's, and she just and she just replies, she's like, bored as hell. <laughs> bored as hell That's i'm gonna find that mean. meme and i'm gonna clip it i love to lie for no reason but no, like just like about silly stuff i don't lie about like real stuff so yeah so yeah not lie on me no never that never motherfucking that all Next. right what was your first impression of me and how has that changed since you gotten to know me well i like to say that i have a really good judge of character and i really know how to pick my friends because one thing about me i have like long friendships like, yeah you do because my friends are my world. They're my girls. So so it was one day we were at another club. Yeah, this was, this was at Sam's. We, we were, were, at back Sam's, were at Sam's. And I had just started. And then I had walked into the um, the girls' locker room. And I was and the, already working there. And then the girls, yeah, when I got there, she was already there. I had no, but technically we were, we were destined to be best friends if you actually really, really think about it. Why? Because Laura? Yeah. Yeah, because we had a mutual friend that knew both of us but from different like walks of life yes so i used to work at a previous club with laura then i left that club went to sam's and then i started working at sam's right so i go into the locker room one day and then i see this white bald girl and i'm like who the fuck is this but then i re- she had this like shirt on and what brand is La it Ropa. La Ropa. it's and a it's shirt that says pussy builds strong bones yes and i've been wanting that shirt so i looked at her shirt and i was like putting my back and i was like i was giving the side eye You're i was like, like that's looking, that shirt and i was like i like that shirt did you get that shirt off melrose and she was like i did and then i was mm-hmm. like period i was like that bitch has that shit on for real yeah i got and that shit then on i was like this bitch keeps having that shit on for real. Like you kept for having real? like cute, like because like, I be putting that shit on sometimes. No, sometimes but you had like you, the tail fur. Oh yeah, yeah. <laughs> but some she had like the tail fur, then she had la ropa, and like she, I was just like, this bitch is fly. And then um, we were sitting down, and then she just sat next to me, and she was eating a salad, and then we just began to eat the chicken, chicken Caesar salad. salad. <laughs> chicken and salad. then the rest is history. Yeah, that's pretty much it. And then we would like share food and stuff at Sam's, and then we both figured out that we both had a same mutual friend, mm-hmm. and then from there we like the three of us would hang out, and then like me and Rachel just kept hanging out basically. Yeah. But um, my first impression of you was that I was like, oh my god, this bitch has the biggest ass i've ever seen in my life that was the first thing i thought i was like she's so tiny and cute because she's rachel's like petite i was like oh she's so tiny and and i kept getting
getting you mixed up for someone else. I don't want to like name Who drop them. Who the fuck were you mixing me up? I would mix you guys up at first. Okay, and got, she's, she's and she's a baddie. She's a bomb diggity. She's a baddie. It's just I'm not, I'm I don't want to like name this it. random girl because I don't really know she's her. She's a bomb diggity, world. but she's sexy. Like she's, she's sexy. sexy. Just another girl that used to work at our club. Um, but because your hair was light when you first came to Sam's, you yeah. had highlights in it, and this girl also had blonde highlights. I had, no, I was a uh, I had the copper. Yeah, that's what I meant. It was like, high, but hers was like that too. It was like kind of highlighted. So mm-hmm. I would mistake you guys, right? So I don't know, like yeah. when I actually like met you for real for real like i don't remember like the first day i ever seen you because i literally might have been thinking that you two were the same person for a while and then um yeah and then like i remember you asked me about my shirt and then i was like slay and then um you were like oh i got a homegirl coming for me and then i was like who and you were like laura because and i think that i knew that you knew her already because she had posted something and tagged you with it on instagram mm-hmm. and i was like oh okay yeah, yeah yeah i know her and then we were like slay. so you were a fan of me no i just saw my friend's story and then you were on it okay (laughs) so so that was that and then um yeah but i I always had a good first impression of you but the the thing is is that i always just thought that you were just like just like a bbl baddie with like no personality like not like from looking at you like i just thought that you were like because there's a lot of the bitches in the club are like that and they're just like not funny but like when you get to know rachel like she's fucking hilarious like you're funny as shit i know you oh i come from a long line (laughs) of fat of really funny woman yeah no you are you are funny as fuck and even and even too when when uh sam uh was coming out here even sam was a hater at first he's like i feel like i'm not gonna like rachel because this is because he's thing. a fucking hater and then he was like you are so right rachel is fucking hilarious this, i said thank you i'm like a little catfish like i look a certain way but that's not my personality you know what i mean that's how and that, that's the thing that i say on tiktok i'm very much myself yes and like my Instagram stories and shit, I'll be funny. The only time where I try to be like f- sexy is like on my Instagram posts. That's the, that's the only social media platform that I'm like trying to be cute on is the Instagram. And it's just my posts, even my stories. I'm like, I don't give a fuck. I'll post whatever on my stories, but TikTok and shit. I'm like, I'll post, you know what I mean? Like, cause I'd so much rather be liked for being funny than being sexy. If I had to choose one. And me, I like instagram i like instagram but tiktok is the one where it's like hard for me to translate my personality because to, i don't know why i'm so scared yeah to show you get my, like post anxiety to show my personality but that's yeah. how i am even in in person though yeah to, like i'm very like closed off like when you like, meet new people you I'm are like, a little like even, even with this I'm like scared. you're a little nervous yeah but, but like i feel like the longer you record yeah. the more you're like getting into i don't know it. i just i don't like to like expand myself and show people my full self right away when i meet them yeah no that's real that's I real think that's the thing with me that's real. But yeah my personality doesn't match my looks yeah <laughs> <laughs> all right how many whatever we, that do, means i don't even think we could get we have okay we have four more we could do we could bang them out quick okay because okay. we're, we're, we're rapid fire rapid fire rapid, rapid fire have you ever burned or destroyed someone's clothes oh have you who are you talking to yeah i know you definitely have a thousand percent my last ex-boyfriend i used to burn well he deserves bleach it bleach that's well, and do a, it. everything under the sun to this man because yeah. this man was Satan spawn yeah and i don't feel was. bad about it and nobody's gonna make me feel bad about it no but and i'm gonna stand this, on would it do worse shit back to you so it doesn't even matter so i literally i would like the smirk, <laughs> the smirk is <laughs> the, crazy that was like the grinch smirk you're like <laughs> <laughs> yeah no that's that's real he and deserved everything and you know what and of course i'm gonna buy the shit that i bought i'm gonna burn that shit to the motherfucking ground if oh, i the bought stuff it that you already yeah yeah, yeah. yeah. I like, like taken shit yours. back. I've like taken stuff back and been like, "Bitch, I want this." Like, or just like stolen shit, like that I like that they had, and I've been like, "Give me this fucking shit." But I've never like actually like burned or like destroyed any property of my exes. I don't think I, I was I very that. close to it at one point with with you know. Who. But I feel like you don't get angry. I don't. But I wanted. She to, doesn't I wanted get to, angry. I wanted to fuck up. You know who's van? Oh. But guess what? It broke what? down a few days later because God is so good. Look at God. Because God, look at God. Look at God, God is good. So I didn't God even have good. to. And God is never going to fail you. That thing broke down. God is good, baby. And then he I hit me up right. and he was like, I've been really struggling. Like I had to like sell the didn't van. He, and get a, bitch, I don't give a fuck. Get your money up. Didn't he? How about that? Didn't? <laughs> get your fucking money up, not your funny up. Okay. Didn't he ask to borrow money from you? I, I think he did. Swear. I think he did at one point. He did. I think, and he I did. think that's what really made your I coochie think he did. dry. And I was like, and oh like, my God, it. suddenly my pussy is literally 
like crumbling away. But he's been the killer. I've never liked him. I ugh, no. He, uh, but the day I met the me. day I met this man, I was like, oh, he is literally the killer. He's he is so, so many ugly, red flags. He's so fat. He's just <laughs> there's nothing cute about him. Nothing. She like sees Jesus Christ when she sees him, and I'm like blind. Well, he's sexy. And I know my followers would think he's sexy because I could. I just know they're in, into he the He puts same type lemon of into his eyes. There's nothing sexy about a man who puts lemon into his eyes. We're not even going to get into that because they're going to be so confused on that. Okay, anyway. <laughs> I can bring up the picture. Oh, wait, you have to ask. Oh. <clears throat> What's the smelliest part of your body? Your ass. Your fucking ass. What? My your ass is not. Your oh, because my farts stink. Oh, but this asshole is clean, baby. Lickable. Fresh. I'm not licking that shit. <laughs> um. Honestly, like I'm not like a smelly person. Like, be for real. Do I, like, do I ever smell? No, she doesn't stink like shit. Thank you. Like, I'm not like a stinky person. Like, I, I try to brush my I teeth never smell a lot. Her, like, her, uh, yeah, you never have. Yeah, you're pretty. Really? I don't ever have bad breath. No, you never have bad okay, breath. Oh, your like armpits never fear. stink. Yeah, my, like I'm not like a your stinky cooch never person. Stinks. Your feet never stink. But what I was gonna say, if I had to pick, I was gonna say feet, but not like that my feet smell on like a day to day basis. But I'd say that our, our work heels. But that's everyone. <gasps> for for you guys who don't know, who are not dancers, don't or, drag or, me. I'm not gonna drag you, because everyone's don't shoes stink. But yours are me. way overdue, <laughs> baby girl. <laughs> Because, okay, so the thing about our, the, the stripper heels is that they're a brand called Pleasers. It's like you don't, I mean, there are some bitches who wear normal heels in the club. That, that shit is like my biggest stripper pet peeve. If you fucking wear normal heels in the strip club, you, you're listen, the, the listen, that shit drives me crazy. You have to understand, not everybody starts off like the dolls, like you and me. Like, we got that shit right away. Some girls, yeah. they just never get it. So you have to understand, we're veterans. But if you're in the club and you're working there for more than a week and you've never been in a club before and then you're like, oh, maybe I should get some of these heels. Like, there are some girls that have been working there for centuries and they still, it's just me. not a good look. And even customers are like, that shit looks stupid. Me. Anyway, so the the brand that these heels are they get so fucking dirty and stinky because our feet are Not like sweaty and disgusting rachel I, <laughs> I know i'm blasting you right now I this knew, bitch she I lost her shoes she lost her her heels she like she like lost them i don't know what the fuck happened to them she she's lost them she's gonna drag so she me comes, right now you guys <laughs> she comes into work one day she's like fuck i forgot my shoes what do i do i'm like well there's like a random bin of shoes in the back that like are just like I don't even know whose they are. So she finds a pair that like kind of fit her and they were already fucking dirty. They were already like dirty. Right. And she wore them that night and I was like, okay, whatever. And then she kept wearing them and she kept wearing them. And now it's been like six months and she's been wearing these fucking shoes and they are literally rotted. They are rotted and they stink and they're disgusting. And I literally <laughs> tell Rachel and I'm like, dude, they, they need to be thrown in the fucking incinerator immediately. And she was, she just will not like, she said, but they're so broken in and they're so comfy. But now it's getting to the point where they're like too broken. They're in. like creating like blisters yeah. at like the soles. And it, it like, I'm walking, like I have a stick shoved up at my ass at work. So I have to throw them away, but I, I kind of don't want, too. my mic is on. I kind of don't want to <laughs> throw them away just because vanilla has this vendetta against them. Yeah. I so do. I kind of don't want to throw them away just to piss her off. I'm sorry. Oh, my God. Okay, anyway. Oh, wait, wait. Thing. What's the smelliest part of your body? Your dog. Don't. Do we hear that? She's snoring. Say she stinks. No. I said she's snoring. Okay. Your your dog is not a part of your body. Well, actually, she kind of is. Cause <laughs> that bitch is obsessed with her. Her dog is literally up her ass all the time. That's because I'm a mom. That's what happens when you're a mom. My kids are not up my ass all the time. They are a little bit, but it's different. I guess it's different. She, it's cute, I'm a though. single like, I'm mom. Her dad it. left her. I'm all she has. <laughs> Please. What's the smelliest part I of your body? My feet don't be stinking. You know what it is. Just say it. <laughs> Just say it. I don't know. The belly button. <laughs> oh, my God. You have to explain why, though, because it's not a real belly button. I can't believe... You're dragging me to. F I don't want to do this anymore. I can't believe you were. You're gonna up. walk out like frenemies. I cannot. <laughs> You're like Trisha. <laughs> You're like Trisha. Gonna walk out. No. Me. Explain why though. Wow. Oh but my it's God. not your Everyone's fault. Everyone's gonna know that I have <laughs> okay, a stinky listen, ass belly button. But listen, Rachel has work done. She's a gorgeous, snip like a Barbie queen. Okay. She had a tummy tuck. And with a tummy tuck, basically what they do is they take your fucking skin and they pull it and they take whatever fat that is 
and they just chop it off and, and they then sew you back up. They reconstruct your belly your button. Abdomen, okay, so your whole abdomen, basically. Yes. So this is the thing. My belly my belly button was reconstructed because I had this hideous what crater. Is it crater <laughs> it looked like a hovered mountain well you just had a, a, a little bit that of a lone house lone house lone house is like is like the little poochie. i had five stomachs anyways <laughs> back to the topic listen to this my doctor said what type of belly button you want because that's what happens when you drop mm-hmm. 10k on this body yaddy, yaddy. Right, okay so i was said I want the smallest belly button because my belly button literally was the size of my hand. Mm -hmm. So he was like, okay, he was like, say no more. So whatever, I get my surgery and then, you know, I'm healing with my surgery, whatever. And I keep smelling the smell and I'm like, what the fuck is that smell? And it kind of resembles, it's like the cousin of like, you know, like when you rub the back of your ear or like the ear piercing, it's like the cousin of that smell. It's not Uh that smell exactly, but it's the cousin. And, And then I would tell my doctor, I'm like, I have this smell like on my stomach. Like, I don't know what it it is and he's like oh it's your belly button and i was like my belly That's button healing. and then he was so pretty much my doctor made my belly button so small so 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 small that it like closed and i mean mm. i still like my belly button i'm not upset about it whatever yeah. like shout out to dr carlos Boratica. <laughs> um i'm not mad at him at all actually because i still could like it but it's so it's like kind of i kind of have like a botched belly but i'm not even gonna lie and it's like closed all the way right yeah but it's like slightly open and then there's like this like belly button juice that i have Ew. and it, sometimes it leaks <sighs> don't even because you brought this up i know and but sometimes it's just like it crazy like how the body works and then like literally like i'll be like oh and i can smell when it's leaking and then like i'll like touch it and if i touch it i kind of like stimulate it and then like more comes out and you're one time i made it and w- you're milking it i'm milking what the belly button you're milk like you st- get milk out of it it's just bell- belly button juice that's what i call it mm. and then one time i made her smell it and she was so gross yeah out, she so. didn't smell that shit i was like but that's actually kind of like iconic yeah i would smell any like if you were like smell this you smell like, right now? no are you sure why would i want to i already have rachel next question <laughs> all right these are the last two have you ever showered with someone yeah i love shower sex <sighs> Okay, I don't necessarily love shower sex as much as I just love showering with someone. I just love water sex, like jacuzzi sex, pool sex. Killer, you're the killer, yes, you're the killer. That's like yeast a, infection, yeast, yeast infection. Yeast infection, BV, yeast infection, BV. Yes, but it is I know. sexy, yeah. Hot but tub is sexier love, than pool. But that's also because I think I'm a mermaid. I, lo- I just love the water. I love being in the water. But I, I, I do love, yeah, I do think that that is sexy. That is hot and sexy and, and I amazing. just want to get fucked oh. so hard in a pool. No, that's but no, want. it's just like, like, like near the pool, yeah, but like in the pool, like under the actual yeah. water, no, uh, uh-uh, uh, I can't get behind that. Um, but the reason that I, I, I also wanted to talk about this is I wanted to spill some more tea about myself. Was that the first time that I hung out with this ex, the one that Rachel just said is ugly and a killer? <laughs> and the thing is, I didn't even like actually date this guy for real. Like he was just fucking crazy. This was crazy. not her man. Not my man. Never claimed. But not I never her like sneaky link. No, we just like had this weird, and he would, and he would tell, and he, t- and he, t- he said the L word, like, no, dude, crazy. Anyway, I say the L word to the people at Starbucks. That's not nothing. Yeah, that's true, I guess. But I, I the think L of the L word as like different. Like, I don't just say the L word to anyone. Explain what the L word is. Love. People don't know what the L word love is. Love you. I love, I love you. you. Yeah, I love you. I don't just say that to people. Like, I, say I mean, it to like, anybody. yeah, but like as a joke, but like people that I'm dating and like for real, like he was like, just say it. Just. Say I it. always wait till the guy just says it. it. Yeah, yeah, exactly. And then I say it back. So. <laughs> Cause I'm not punk. <laughs> so the first, literally the first time that I linked with this man, she just wants to dedicate this whole episode to this fat. Fuck. Oh my god, we've talked about him. You cannot say that. That's cancelable. You can't cancel me, I'm too <laughs> and I'm not gonna let you get canceled. <laughs> Don't cancel me, he's please. Like, he's like a little chunky. Okay, whatever. Cause I've dated bigger men i love big men i know like what are you talking about your ex was fat too he's not fat he He had a a sexy dad he was built they were built pretty much the same no okay don't talk about my my husband like that (laughs) please and don't ever call me and my husband actually was ready to throw it all away and go to vanilla are we gonna go there (laughs) We, we can. I didn't even finish my we story. Can. Okay, really quickly finish my story and then we'll go into that. I think it's iconic. Okay, so um 
the first basically all I was going to say is the first time that I ever hung out with this guy is that we, we, we took a shower and we were pissing on each other. We literally peed on each other. That's all I had to say. Anyway, back to what Rachel said about her ex. Her ex is literally fucking insane. He's the killer. And he would. And this is this did not just happen with me. This happened with multiple of her other friends. But we're just talking about you. Don't talk but about right everybody now, else. Well, I'm going to just don't say, talk about the other seven girls. I know, I'm like, how fucking <laughs> like, please. So he subscribed it's funny to, my, to me. It's funny now. It wasn't funny at the time. No. I was actually throwing up shitting he and vomiting. He subscribed to my OnlyFans. And, you know? Yeah. It was it was bad. He subscribed. But to now my, it's funny. My mic is on. <laughs> he subscribed to my OnlyFans and um, I didn't know it was him. Obviously. The fuck. And mind you, I'd never, I've never hung out with her ex. I've maybe seen one or two pictures of him. Like, cause she was like, would kind of keep him like private. Cause I would she was never like, post them cause he you would like killer. never brag about him. Cause he was like a piece of shit. Um, I don't and brag about so I didn't really, all, all I knew was that he had his name, her name tatted on him, like on his chest somewhere. I did know that. Right. I knew that for a fact. <laughs> um, and I'm like getting these messages from this fucking guy and he's like, where you at? Where you at? Like, I'll pay you to meet up. Like, where you at? I'm like, who the fuck is this guy? He's the killer. Okay. I'm like, I'm like, hurt. I'm like, please stop fucking. I'm like, you got, you're annoying. I'm like literally messaging him. I'm like, stop fucking being annoying. And then he sends me a picture of his a wiener dick. And I was like, his big fat wiener. It was not big. It, do you want to go there? Cause it's not big and fat. It was mid. It was a very average size dick. Not even close to being considered. But again, I come with anybody. I know, but don't ever say that was a big dick. Okay, anyway. (laughs) So (laughs) he sent me a picture of his dick and I literally replied. I was like, dude, I was like, dude, in her bed. In my bed. With my blankets. In my crib. I said, yeah, in her crib that she pays for. And I said, don't ever send unsolicited dick pics. At this point, I still have no fucking idea it's him, right? So he's messaging me all this fucking shit. And, and then this was this was Shade. He goes, love your natural body. That was Shade. Shade. And I'm over here and like thinking Shade. that it's like just like a fucking random OnlyFans person. And I'm like, not, he's like messaging me 900 times. I'm not answering. And then he sends a selfie, right? And it was him at the gym or some shit with a shirt off. And with he's the, like getting a good pump in. Yeah, it was like it was like the gayest fucking picture ever. I was like, he was right. like. I was like, oh, that shit is so fucking lame. So, um, and I just disregarded, again, not even looking at these messages. And then I log into my OnlyFans one day after we got off work. It's like three in the fucking morning. But, but you want to know the saddest part is that me and her, we had a ball. We were still working at Sam's and we had a ball. We were like, the com- the day was so good. You made money. It was I a made good money. night. Yeah, it was a good like, night. Like, we like went our separate ways. Like, I got home super late. I got home at like three o'clock and you know like i didn't so at the the time that i got home he was in the bed and i was he was at the, the house yeah yeah but i w- i knew we were gonna break up any given second but it was just like you know like when you know you're gonna break up with somebody and you're just kind of waiting for the last straw to yeah. break or whatever like you know so that that was like the terms that we were on yeah. okay so i and he also wouldn't let you sleep in the bed because he'd be like i yeah, you're like i don't want to sleep with you after you get off work that's so disgusting like yeah. i like like you're like they, what a, like f- he was fucking a fucking loser he's such a fucking loser yeah and i i refuse to like sleep next to him like the past like month mm-hmm. like the last month that we did yeah. we weren't even having sex yeah. or anything but yeah oh my god so he sends a picture of his dick and then he sends a picture of himself and then I go like log in and, and then he has I think like he, a, he has like a non-traditional Hispanic name. Well, I don't think he had his his thing as but, a username. His name is not a it's not a common name. Yeah, exactly. But should we say his name? No, 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 no we're not gonna. Let's not. I don't even want to give him the fucking attention. Travis Barker. So, no, that's literally not him. So um, he ha- put his name. I'm like scrolling. I look through the messages and I see the name and I'm like. Is that not Rachel's man's name? And he put his last name too. And I was like, <laughs> and I was like, what the fuck? And then I click on it. And then I'm like, wait. And I scroll up and this I look at the so picture. Bad. I look at the picture and I'm like, huh. I'm like, that could maybe be his this her. Is, this is at four o'clock in the morning, yeah. by the way. I'm like, this could maybe be her ex. I don't really know or her man, what the fuck at the time. And I zoom in on the picture and I see the tattoo that said Rachel on, on his chest and my heart sunk to my fucking balls and I'm calling Rachel. She's not answering. She's dead asleep. I'm calling her, calling her, calling no, her. No, I was the worst part is that I was not asleep. You were like, he, he would go to work at five o'clock in the morning. So he was still there. So, so he was still there. So I the couldn't phone. answer. Cause he just hated the, me. He, the, and that's the thing. The he, would, he would hate me. He would like talk shit to Rachel and he'd be like, I don't think she's a good friend. 
bitch are you got some fucking nerve anyway so then yeah so then that happened and um i was calling rachel i'm like dude your man sent me a fucking dick pic hello he's the killer but that's not even the first time that that happened with him like yeah that was that. not the first time second yeah. time third time fourth he time, just, fifth time. he was fucking crazy yeah. so that that's really all but honestly i wasn't really mad i was like slay she she literally was like uh like yeah. she was just like yeah sounds like him i'm like what like she was so did not even really react i really she was just like this is just I really so didn't li- like care about him because they were just so over it at that point yeah. you were so like mentally drained from that relationship i didn't really care about him to be honest but real talk i'm like glad that you got out of that because it is hard for a lot of people to like get out of relationships like that are like toxic like that and you did it i did it congrats it took me a while but i, I did know. it all right last question we're not even gonna have time to take a call it's so sad we've been yes, rambling we on rachel I'm going to stand up after this and you're going to hold the mic and I'm going to see how long we've been recording for and then we'll see. All right. Last question. Has a woman ever come to you as a woman or vice versa? That's pretty much kind of what we were talking about. Yes. I've never had someone like nicely come to me as a woman. (gasps) I've had. What? What? Something just came to me. What? What happened? With Travis? Oh, no. (laughs) <laughs> I'm the killer. somebody oh i have to say this story i have to say this story so the story. somebody came to me as a woman this was before i met, met my loser ex um i was dating this guy and we were dating we weren't official boyfriend and girlfriend but he says that i was his girlfriend but he never asked me so if a guy doesn't ask you to be his girlfriend you're not his fucking girlfriend okay so she came to me as a woman, but it's like, how are you coming to me as a woman? And I'm the girlfriend. That doesn't make any sense. And she sent me a video of her fucking my man. Wait, so it was her man? It was my man. And she sent me a video. Oh, oh, that's that's fucked up, though. The video, of like, she's doing too much. Okay, princess, man. please. You need to move your daughter a little bit because she's going to be the killer right now. Go back. <laughs> Piggy, Go back. please. Piggy. Piggy. Piggy, lay down. Just have her lay with you then. Thank you, Piggy. Look at this. Look at that. Look at those legs. Just put the put here. I'm going to put the mic into her face. That's all. That this is Piggy, everyone. <laughs> this is Lilo Minaj. This is Lilo. She's a she's an icon. She's a moment. She's a legend. She's a legend. Um, but I've never I did Again, this is like the fucking you. this is the yeah, remember I, I hit We're, up what's that? Yeah. Yeah. This is like the fucking episode. I didn't want to say his name, even though I said it earlier. I'm not going to get him named. <laughs> Please. I, I came to her and I was like, yo, because I found out that he had a girlfriend. And then I was like, yo, uh, your man is like literally fucking 900 bitches. But it wasn't just me. He was like literally. There was another girl that we work with. Killer. Yeah, he's literally a, the biggest man whore like of. I bet you, I, I swear on my life, he, he's he such a man. He everything that you do. He's so, I don't think he does. He wants to be vanilla. I don't care what anybody says. He would literally. You think he watches what I do? I don't think he does. Yes, he is the killer. I will bet you a million dollars that someone who watches this podcast, a random person that I don't even know, has probably had sex with him. That's how much of a, a whore percent. he is. A thousand percent. Literally. He's like the next, Um, what's that guy That's ha- that like has a lot of kids? Um. <gasps> Nick Cannon, <laughs> not Nikki. No, but I, yes, Nick Cannon. <laughs> but I was gonna say the guy. He's like from like Nick a Cannon. long time ago. He's like no, he's like from like a thousand bazillion years ago. Like, is he like a king? C- not a king, but something like. Uh, you gotta give me more name? clothes. I-, I can't even think of his name right now. But he had like a million kids or something, mm. and that's that's him. Even though he doesn't have any kids, not that I know of. Fucking who knows with that guy? Who knows with that guy? Um. Yeah, but we were, we got to wrap it up. We got to wrap it up here. So, wow, Rachel, you did very good. Yeah. Are you proud of you? Oh, okay. God, I can never give this bitch a compliment. <laughs> <laughs> um, but yeah, guys, we uh, we, we do want to do more of these. And now that I have uh, two microphones, I'm going to have guests on every now and then. Um, yeah, so I just thought that I would switch it up for you guys and surprise you guys for, for this very, very Merry Christmas. And I know that you guys are going to be seeing this after Christmas, but I hope that you guys, if you do celebrate, I hope you had a great Christmas. Um, and I love you. I love all of you, every single last one of you. And thank you for staying um, at the villa, even though we're, we, we, we had to relocate this week. We're not at the villa right now. Right. We are, um, where are we, technically? We're at in the a, desert. 
yeah, we're in the desert, but like in my in in my like fake little world of Vanilla's villa. We're at we're the on new location. Vanilla's vacation. Vanilla's vacation. Yes, this is Vanilla's vacation. Episode. Vanilla's vacation week. Um. Yeah. So, do you have anything else you want to say? No, I love everybody. Yeah. And be who you are. For your pride. And be a bad bitch. That too. And don't have sex with men. Well, they're evil. Mm, that's yeah. I guess. Okay. Well, um, thank you for tuning in, and we'll see you guys next week. Love you. Bye.